So we needed a wood stove for our little uh, wall tent. So it turns out the neighbor down the street's got one for sale. He wants a hundred bucks for it. So, okay, we'll go have a look. Seems okay. Uh, a little rusty, a little dirty, but uh, seems pretty solid. So we're going to go pick that up and bring it back and uh, see if we can put some TLC to it. So the wife's got the stove cleaned up nice here and we've added a coat of a uh, couple of coats of fireproof paint so it's starting to rain a little bit so we're just going to bring it inside and uh, continue working on it from there. Well there she is in place we got uh, some uh, corrugated steel from the neighbor so we put that up like a heat shield and um, we got some concrete board on the ground looks like we're going to get a little bit more um we're right on the edge of it there but um and put a little bit more metal up the sides but basically that's it um and we got a piped out through the stove jack there i also got to put a few screws in it and the riser on the outside and then we can start putting the brick in and put the doors on we've got some new gasket for the doors so we'll do that and uh hopefully tonight we can have a little bit of a fire in here Why does he have all these little shorties? These little shorties. That's why they maybe it's a bit of a jigsaw puzzle. Do they go along the front maybe or something? Yeah. Can I use these? Yeah. I'll probably just cut the audio out. So there we go. Pam managed to put all the bricks back in in the big jigsaw puzzle. We only ended up having to replace one, two, three bricks and uh, managed to reuse the rest. So that was nice. Well, there she is. All done. Nice little picture on the front of a couple guys cutting down a tree. I tried looking this name up on the internet, but pretty much came up empty. If anyone knows what that is or what it means, let me know. And there's our vent out the wall. So we're going to start a little fire in it and see what happens. Well, the smoke seems to be going in the right direction. That's a good sign. The kids were out hiking the other day and they found this tree, so they brought us to show us. It's pretty impressive. Somebody even cut a branch off at some point. Long time ago. I think that's the branch. Austin's gonna measure it. Here, let's see how wide it is. So, up there. How wide is that? About uh, four foot eight. <laughs> so, five feet across. <laughs> No, that's how tall it is. Oh, that's cool. A good hundred feet or so. What is this? This is a fir, right? Yeah. Big tree with a little mouse hole at the bottom. It's like a mouse condominium. Okay, so live and learn, I guess. Uh, living out here, you eventually become a bit of an expert in everything and uh, we didn't know much about 
wood burning stoves. So we thought this this one was pretty good. It looked pretty good. It was nice and solid. I mean, Jesus made a and with that is three eighths plate on top, like it would just it would hold heat like crazy. But trying to get it to burn nicely and burn for any extended period of time was pretty tough. It was almost like uh, felt like it was on a ship just shoveling fuel into the machine. Uh, bit of a smoke monster, never really burned nice. I mean, what, I don't know. This thing might be a hundred years old for all I know. Uh, and it's still, it's still a good solid stove. And the doors on them got to weigh almost about uh, 70 pounds a piece. Um, so, yeah, we just, we, we didn't want to deal with that in the winter. And the amount of uh, firewood we went through in just a couple of cool nights uh, was a bit surprising. So, we, uh, we pulled her out. Um, we're going to get rid of it. I'm going to keep it and uh, put it in my tool shed later. I think it'll be good for that, but uh, not so good for the house. So we went down and picked up uh, a more modern stove. Um, it's, uh, it's really night and day, the technology and the, the uh, operation of it is it's so much better. Uh, you, can, you can stack it up, you can choke the air right down, it'll just sort of burn all night. Um, and in the morning, it's, it's nothing but just a bed of ash. So you know, you know, you know, all the, the wood eventually burnt. Um, yeah. So for this little girl here, she's going going back here. We're gonna wrap her in the tarp with a tarp and some bungee cords for the winter. Hopefully, it doesn't get too rusty uh, because I think we did a pretty good job of cleaning it up, put new brick and, and gaskets in it. But uh, yeah, I don't. I think there's a reason we we don't build them like this anymore. But I'll, uh, yeah, I'll show you the one inside the, the tent we have now. Uh, you can say it's a bit night and day, uh, the difference. And uh, we'll put this girl to rest for a while. Well, there she is all wrapped up. Hopefully she's happy in her new home for a little bit amongst the wood piles in her natural habitat, I suppose. So there she is, a um, few modifications to the stack, uh, and uh, it went in pretty easily. A little bit lighter than the old one too, that thing's a monster. Um, yeah, this is game with it. So this is the Polaris Classic, I guess. Um, they use the same firebox, I think, for a number of different models. but. Uh, yeah, it was pretty inexpensive, but it seems to work really well. Uh, we had her stacked up the other night there, and it was still still burning at about 5 o'clock in the morning. So I'm getting better at it. There's actually some, some tricks, I think, to these things. They're not, they're not just a fire pit with a, a chimney on it. Um, this one's got a kind of a neat handle. This is how the door opens, and uh, it's got sort of some settings so you can... Leave it in different positions if you like. And then this is the damper down here. Um, had that closed up a bit for last night. But uh, yeah, much more efficient than the old one. So hopefully that keeps us warm. Well, I guess that's it for this week. Uh, thanks for stopping in, checking in on us. Uh, at least you know we're not going to freeze to death this winter. Um, I think we got a pretty good wood stove there. So we'll, uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.